Hello guys, welcome back to uh, S3D, and today we want to talk about the High Grave on Gundam Requiem for Vengeance. And this one right here is the Gundam right here, the RX-78 Gundam EX, or X. Um, yeah, I feel like it's, uh, this, this is like a very, very unique looking mobile suit. It doesn't look like quite like the Gundam ground type, and it doesn't look quite like the RX-78. It looks like... There's some elements uh, that's part of the uh, uh, gun cannon, actually. You can tell that from the beam rifle. It's a very unique uh, beam rifle that really looks like something that's from the gun cannon. Uh, the shield also looks really nice. Uh, I have seen some commentaries <laughs> on TikTok about these the particular mobile suit. Uh, people have all kind of weird theories about this mobile suit. Some people are saying like this thing looks like a real gray, uh, more than a high gray, and then some people are saying like this thing looks incredibly nice. Well, just keep in mind, uh, when Bandai do these promotional photos, you know they are obviously the uh, product are CGI. And a lot of times, you know, uh, Bandai do a lot of uh, color separations on their high grade kits to make them look super nice. And then when you actually get it, you know, that there are uh, like a lot of color inaccuracies. You know, what you see in the promotional photo isn't really what you get. You're like missing like at least 50% of the colors. So I would keep that in mind, you know, as an experienced Gunpla uh, builder. You know, I have built over 500 plus kits. Actually, yeah, um, 500 plus kit for myself, uh, stuff that I do on consignment and commissions and stuff like that. You know, that's a lot more <laughs> uh, than those. So, yeah, I, I think uh, with those commissions and the customs i done, uh, probably closer to 800 at this point. You know, I, I also kind of like stuff that's not Gunpla related. I don't know. I, I'm here on Gundam Kids Collection, and this website is just riddled with ads. Like, I'm looking at a freaking Subaru ad for a freaking, like, <laughs> freaking Gumpla. <sighs> anyway, um, yeah, I, I think it looks really nice. It looks pretty cool, but I'm expecting it to be missing at least half the colors. And that really gonna speak volumes for the part separation, to be honest. You know, it looks like it has a lot of parts. It has a lot of intricate details. But, you know, when, once you actually get the kit, you know, you, you'll see. Most likely, it's gonna be missing half the colors. Yeah, and half of the detail, probably. Uh, I don't think they're gonna have that many runners for a high grade to uh, create that much detail. So, yeah. Just, you know, sometimes uh, you have to take experience and factor that in when it comes to the commentary. Because a lot of people will just assume what you get is, uh, what you see is what you get. But <laughs> knowing Bandai and knowing the history, yeah, that, that's most likely not, not something that's going to happen. So anyway, with that being said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Let me know what you guys think about these kits from Requiem of... Requiem for Vengeance. Now, this is a separate line. This is not like part of the HUC. Uh, you have to think of it like which from Mercury. This is its own line by itself. So the RFV line. Anyway, thanks for watching.